Gentlemen, a declaration by the representatives of the United States of America. When, in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bonds which have connected them with another, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain rights, that among these that among are life, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. And that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved. July 1776. George Washington has the Declaration of Independence read to his troops. He and our other founding fathers created this document to announce their separation from the British government. They had a vision of creating a new government and a new way of thinking and a new way of living that was better than what they had. But if they knew what America has become now, they'd be rolling over in their graves. And quite frankly, the British tyrant that we left in 1776 couldn't possibly compare to the government we live with today. Today, the American government is a bloated bureaucracy with far too much power and far too much control. It's a government that's being rapidly infiltrated by socialism on virtually every front. A government with more laws on the books than any other country in the world. A government that incarcerates a higher rate of its own people than any other country in the world. And a government with a national debt that is rapidly approaching $30 trillion. The colonials in the 1770s were willing to go to war with the most powerful empire in the world over a three-penny tax on tea. Now we live in fear with a government that seeks to tax us in virtually every conceivable way, every chance it gets. Now, I am not encouraging or insinuating violence or war against our government in any way, shape, or form. The purpose of this channel is to discuss how intrusive our government has become and to discuss, to discuss what our country might look like with no government at all or what it might look like if some of it or all of it were to separate from the federal government. Now, our founding fathers drew up the Declaration of Independence because they believed it was time, as they said, to dissolve the polit political bonds that they had with their government in Great Britain. And I believe that that time has come once again.